the Global Respiratory Infection Partnership, or GRIP, um, is, is a group of healthcare professionals who've come together, healthcare professionals representing um, medicine, pharmacy, um, microbiology, virology, to um, uh, commit their time and effort uh, to ensuring that there's a greater awareness of appropriate antibiotic use uh, and to help educate uh, healthcare practitioners and the general public, hopefully also to, to generate policy change amongst governments to ensure the best possible use and stewardship of antibiotics going into the future. Well, the aims of these publications are as follows. It's basically to, uh, to, to indicate the information on antimicrobial resistance, to educate on this not only policymakers, healthcare professionals, but also general public, and also generally indicate the danger of antimicrobial resistance and how the combined efforts of different countries, different approaches, based upon the available evidence, might help to fight these infections. The 5P framework, the pentagonal framework for uh, the use of antibiotics, if you like, um, is, is a framework that encompasses um, five aspects, components, uh, all to do with the use of antibiotics, the best possible use of antibiotics. Uh, and those P's um, involve policy, prevention, prescribers, the pharmacy team and the patients. It's very important to relieve the symptoms of the patients. And uh, after some time, one to three days, if the patient will keep with the symptoms of sore throat, probably he will ask for antibiotic. And the one thing that's very important is to control the use of antibiotics to prevent resistance. GRIP's 5P pentagonal framework empowers and enables policymakers, prescribers, pharmacists, and patients in making a tangible contribution to antibiotic conservation and antibiotic stewardship. Prescribers and pharmacists are custodians of antibiotics and should ensure antibiotic stewardship to prolong the efficacy of these essential drugs. It's very important to have a policy decision to battle uh, antibiotic resistance. And this decision should be made by uh, different uh, situations uh, in government and the community and also in the clinical, medical and pharmaceutical societies. So we do really hope that the policy changes will lead to the consecutive changes in antimicrobial prescription and in this context we will see the changes in optimizing of antimicrobial use.